not even close on the green screen. I don't even know. What is my camera pointing at? That's better. So it wasn't the green screen, it was the camera. Hi, everybody. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Did you have a nice weekend? I hope you had a really nice weekend. If you didn't have a nice weekend, f*** that weekend. We'll try again. We'll try again on Friday. We'll try again on Friday. Don't worry about it. Just don't, don't worry about it. Hope you guys are doing great. We're here for more Kentucky Fried Chicken action. I can't believe nice. that I'm actually enjoying this game, but I am enjoying this game. And it makes me feel bad on like a deep level Thanks. that I'm enjoying this game. This today stream, unfortunately, is going to be short. We're going to finish the game or reach 430, whichever comes first. So I won't be able to do a halftime today, um, but you can come back next week for romantic pickup line halftime and it will be great. Uh, I was unfortunately unable to move something that was at 430 today. So it'll be it'll be an hour or when we finish the game, whichever comes first. If we finish the game super early, because I think we have uh, only the last day left. If we finish the game super early, maybe we'll do some Q&A or something like that. Um, but I'm excited to finish this game. And then next week, we're gonna go back to Mr. Love Queen's Choice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the concept of playing Otome games on stream. Uh, like, I, I honestly could do this full time like I could I could I could wipe my entire stream schedule and just play romance games the entire time and I think I'd be okay with it um there's other stuff that I think I want to play eventually I just finished Star Wars Squadrons oh man Star Wars Squadrons in VR Thanks. is by far my favorite VR experience period I love it I love 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 it um if it wasn't in VR I don't think I would love it as much because it kind of takes it takes away some of the the like force management. The old X-Wing versus, oh, wow, I'm really on a tangent already. The old X-Wing and TIE Fighter um, simulators, they had a level of complexity that was really cool because you could, uh, it, was, it was just very open. Like you could do a lot of different things in, in the game. Uh, you can only you dock with ships, you could take over ships. Um, it, it just, they had a lot of different options. This is a little bit more railroady, but when you put it in VR, and you're like sitting in an X-Wing and you turn around and you can see like everything flying above you and it's just, so cool so 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 cool um i would play this out of that on on stream um i would go straight from the beginning ramp up the difficulty because i think it was too easy for the most part and uh play that play that story with you i'm also looking into um what's the other one that people uh not uh elite elite dangerous elite dangerous because now i'm like excited uh for the for the sim a star fox vr game holy moly be crazy it'd be totally totally crazy but we don't have a too much time today so rather than talk about star wars this whole time let's um let's do this here we go here we go now, I didn't review at all any of the voices I was using, so it might take me a second, except the Colonel's. The Colonel's voice was something like this, wasn't it? Something just very North Carolina, Kentucky accent. Wasn't it something like that? I think it was. I think it was. Okay. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. Okay. And he won't even ask you to cater, so we've saw that we'll, we'll be playing back a little bit, a little bit like this. You try to hide from him, but he's approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that running with the mixer and that small fire. If you don't remember, she spontaneously combusted. Well, I guess I, you, you spontaneously combusted. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is part of life. Oh my God. This is my favorite line in the entire game so far and we get to see it again. That's exactly what I think. Well, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful and motivated. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths, and I've arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life. 
But I failed as an obstetrician. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost. Wait a minute. We're way far back. This is way, this is way too far back. We're skipping. Hang on. As much as I was. Spork moss. We're way too far back. Because we should be like at his apartment and stuff like What does this pop word button mean? All right. Uh, here we go. This, this is way, this is way too far back. All right, so we have to click on a bunch of stuff. There's the chicken. This. The ghost, I really like him. Yeah, it should be the next day. So it happened right after we were done with this. We're pretty positive that Colonel... The Colonel murdered his business partner and stuffed him in an urn and is definitely going to be the villain. Now we're going to put our... Tell him you're cold. Hmm. But the real important part of this was... Oh, crap! You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. This is where we stopped. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. In some jurisdictions, this isn't even legal. But the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Your thoughts interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated, plated breakfast in your mouth. It's if it's just fried chicken. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's meticulous. It is just fried chicken and... I mean, it's delicious. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous! My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Flatter him. I think we might make a great team, Colonel. A single tear begins to pull in the corner of his eyes. He gazes at the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner? He's gonna murder you too! You run out the door and go home. Your best friend is here. Hello! Hello, Miriam! you been because I had one heck of a night with Clank I got worried that something could happen to you but now that it turns out you're fine I can finally get you speed the saga Miriam sure but you will not believe she went on a date with Clank yes ship it you better keep your tiles turned to polite and respectful I don't know why Miriam sounds like Mickey Mouse again. I can get to know the little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. <laughs> Modeling up the details of your own eye is just too much to bear. You what? <laughs> what? Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders and focus on school. Why did I have to pick that? Thanks. After a short argument, you both agree to go to your separate ways. Oh man, I just lost my best friend. That sucks. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp his back. Because you know, it's Pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. That's not, no, I had a, I had a side, side thing for you. Oh, it's great. I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a dog and a treat. Oh. You can get your swirly dipped, too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the... <laughs> you clench your fist. But the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince with pain. Doesn't look like you can go cooking like that. Might as well just give up. 
I'll never give up. Colonel Sanders arrives. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Cluck gang, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Are you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail. Winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What the hell, Colonel? What about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? Ooh, that's... Ooh, yeah. ah, hmm. It was... It was uh, clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, a cluck gang. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. Uh-huh. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts. Ooh, you blew it, cluck gang. You take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Wait, I thought we didn't like each other anymore. What do you mean? It would appear to be some sort of grimoire. grimoire. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? I can think of one surefire way to find out. Summon a demon. I could use this spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from- Oh no! If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. Oh no! Like anything not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Desperate times call for desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you. And a pretty good excuse to try it out. Check your I can't, no. Do, do, uh, she, mm. I have to know though. I have to, I have to know. I have to know. Knowledge is power and power is f***ing scary. You begin to recite the spell, but you stumble on the words. The only effect it seems to have is to make you forget what it is you were doing. <laughs> you got a memory erasing spell to the riffin. Okay. Something about this moment feels very familiar. You begin to recite the spell, but you stumble. Oh, right. How many times, how many times, this is definitely feeling familiar, but not in a good way. How many times do I have to do it? You begin to recite the spell, Deep in your heart, you know that proceeding with this spell is a terrible idea. Do it! You begin to recite the spell. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Well, here's nothing. Hold on to your butt! Check your G-Diffuser system. It's gonna start me all the way back at the beginning, isn't it? No, 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 did I? Where are we? They all locked? Son of a bitch. This is my fault. What if I abort? I wonder if it saved it. Let's see where it picks me up. I, I, if I was programming this game, I would make it 100%. I would make it. Let's do it. Continue. Oh, no. It's not letting me do anything. That's weird. I wouldn't have expected that. I would have expected it to like yell at me in a humorous way.
All right, let's hang on. Back. Is it gonna black out again? This is the worst timeline. This is the worst thing ever. Ever. I had to know. I had to. I had to know what was going on. How quickly can I make the game repeat? How quickly can I fast forward through this game? <sighs> Load game doesn't work. They're all locked. We'll be all right. We're gonna speed run this, guys. I'll see. Smack that clock up and out. I'm trying to make the same choices. Dream a little bit. Check your system. Uh, let's pep talk her. I think we pep talked her. I hope I remember all the changes, the the choices I made. Uh. Wow, that was a fart. See, now I feel like this is just Animal Crossing. All right, so I'm definitely going to make, uh, we're, I'm going to take the handkerchief, right? Because refusing would be annoying. I'm going to make all the same choices. I'm not going to cheat. Uh, chicken snack. Uh, sit by Colonel Sanders. 100%. We, we rejected Miriam the entire time. Uh... Well, these are different questions. Forest is to tree, as chicken is to feather. Okay. What is the most efficient eating utensil is a spork? What food is best for a broken heart? Is anything as long as it's right? Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's the best boy. He put chicken in a bucket? Hmm. Um, I think that's the one I picked. You approach Colonel Sanders. <gasps> the chicken staff. Aww. What do we do? Modest but thoughtful? I think we did modest but thoughtful. Yeah. Uh, I want Clank to be Miriam's partner. Um, mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, this is when the guy dies. A plus death. All right, day one. That's not so bad. We're done. We're done with day one. The sport monster. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we attacked the whole time, didn't we? Cook with love. Attack. Cook with love. Attack. Cook with love. Attack. Cook with love. Spare the wretched beast. Get the grimoire. I cannot believe this game. Yes, I can. I can. Make up a fake ingredient. Uh, we ran to him, right? We got kicked in the face? Let's get kicked in the face. Compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. I hope I remember these choices correctly. 
The music is legitimately good. There are so many things legitimately good. But we're gonna take we're gonna eat the pepper, the last one that was ever on the in the world. There's so many things about this good that, that this game that are legitimately good, and that's so irritating. Alright, we're doing the cooking thing. And we're gonna try again, right? Okay, uh, 100 degrees center rate. Eleven. Uh, trust. No, crap, it's gratitude. A small town where big dreams are born. Silence. All right, that one didn't matter because I would get distracted, right? Exchanging wedding vows. All right, now we're good here. Now I destroy myself. I will internalize the rage I feel. All right, we're back where we were at the beginning of the stream, guys. It's the spork monster. Uh, I'll reveal it. <gasps> I want to know about this chicken. I want to know about this. This, 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 this over here. And this. 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 I was cold. Hmm. All right, solid. Flatter him. Let's not do it. Okay, guys. He clears his voice to make quick announcement. This was Julia Childs, right? I want you all to know I feel something of a dark moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially. Wait, let's just wait. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel. He turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom, begins barking uncontrollably. Terrence! I told you to never come back here, Terrence! I will f you up! Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off his face. Who named him Terrence? You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again! Hmm. I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Croc Gang, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom you see. But before you can go any further, love drama. I told you, he's not getting all. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? <laughs> Had to show off to your cool kids, Jeff and Joan, J and J forever. Watch us form a triangle in midair. Thanks. Yeah. Uh. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that, Clank. Oh, that's... Oh, God. Yeah. Check your diffuser system. I guess in terms of deep-fried footwear, it looks okay. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. 
but we mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam trademarked. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get a test time approaches. See you all in the arena. Ta-ta-ta! Before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby. Hey, Miriam, are you are you okay? I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke. Even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. You don't need anyone, Miriam. We're gonna cruise hit the carpool lane to Success City. Which means we're really only gonna reach Success City like 10 minutes before everyone else because the carpool and lay isn't like that. That effective. Imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs. <laughs> You're not gonna saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion and run off into the sunset without me. No, I'm definitely gonna do that. Well, sorta, but I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it, a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. Making a very special soup. Check your tea diffuser system. You missed lunch because they ran out of programming time and they were like, we don't want to do another lunch sequence. Could we just like have you skip it? The location of your final challenge, a test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent, and a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van the supposed man man and his eviler counterpart, Ashley. Clock Gang's famous chicken pot pie. Uh, I, I have a hunch where this is going. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Clock Gang, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Just taking it all in, visualizing success. Hmm. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were in here cooking something delicious. Cost you a cook-off. It's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when... Fess up about your practice dish. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know. My nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. That's an oddly specific distance. Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Is it burning? I can smell that it was made with a heaping helping of T M N C. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't take it out. Moment of truth. Wow. <gasps> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking and I could eat this all day. Why am I holding my chicken staff? This is not the time for action. This is not the time for action at all. <laughs> the f music. There are no rules. Cook with everything you've got. Don't f up. Mac and cheese plus the pot pie. Van and Ashley are prepping wildly elaborate dishes. Miriam has a giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. Just prepared to go big, going small. Colonel Sanders harnessing his 11 herbs and spices. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves. Egg wash. Best friend, Bastard Blaster. Pops open a sea urge. Oh, let's rock and roid. Shallow personality spatula. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. When did Clank learn to speak English? It's the singularity, as was foretold. What? Self is. Poor Clank. 
You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Do it the hard way. I'm not- I'm not with this again, okay? Ah, but am I? I really want to know what happens when you cast this spell. I want to know. You can't save. There's no saving. You can't. Oh, see, it got mad at me. That's funny. All right. Because I didn't cast the memory loss spell. I just... Mm. Thanks. Oh, did the poll run? Run the poll. Run the poll. I'll wait. I'll wait until we're done. We'll just... We'll groove for a minute. Am I casting this spell? 60-something percent. Oh, the yeses are coming in. The yeses are coming back. Oh my god, the yeses are going to do it. Oh gosh. Super Cream Puff makes a, a reasonable argument that you can go back and do it after the game. All right, I'm count I'm countermanding. I'm count How are the there's not, there's not 600 people here. How do there, how have there so many votes? All right, we're doing it the hard way. We're doing it the hard way, and we're going to go back, and we'll check it out afterwards. It gives you a subtle wink. I forget which button it is, so this could be terrible, but that was it. Okay, the no's are, are pretty much going to win anyway, so good. We'll do it later. I believe in you, Cluck Gang. Aww. I've always believed in you, Cluck Gang, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. Tiny food, short cook time. Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. She doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. That's fantastic. That's fantastic! Now I have I have nuded my dish! What a brilliant, what a brilliant turnaround! I'm in love. <laughs> it's I, Steve, the Sporkmeister. Steve, what what happened to Borco? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Sporkmeisters are many. I think Borko had the day off, but you have conjured Steve and I hate to battle, so I say you're doing pretty good. Ah, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff, it's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Alright, if I hang out for a little bit and maybe eat some. Sorry Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something you mind. Steve the Spork Monster knows you've got the Grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. Oh, I see what you're up to. Crisscross some magical items and accidentally summon me, huh? Yeah, you guessed it. Could you put some fresh noodles into a pot of salted water? Well, I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country. So, so is he going to save me because I spared Borco? Never mind, I'll tell you later. Hey, good luck. No, I'm summoning extra power from deep down within myself. Yeah! Chicken, chicken, chicken. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. Yes, Clock Gang, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring. Sorry. 
energy courses through your body. Except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you were powering up, your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. Don't worry, you may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you've earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. I'm here to help. Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. A delicate white towel, the most delicious fried chicken tenders. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. If we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Time's up, students. You must now prepare to present your dishes. Pop, Clank? Where's Pop? Oh. I'm flying! Oh, no. Somebody gave Pop an atomic wedgie. I thought a wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop was eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs. Sure. You kids and your pranks, I must say it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history. It's not exactly yearbook material. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? Oh, is Clank up dead? Unplugged? How is he running around if he needs to be plugged in? Oh, three whole days long. But after, after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Describe your dish. Tender udon noodles and savory soup. It's totally adorable. Look at that. The chopsticks. No tea bag. Is that a teeny tiny narutomaki? I spy a float in this itsy bitsy bowl. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Wow. Sublime! Actually, dogs' mouths are generally cleaner than most humans. So. A plus! Rarely do I taste this with as much love poured into it as yours. Alright, Van Van's, what's he, what's he making? <laughs> Uni over smooth egg custard and axe hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. It looks kind of awful. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? A bit much. Doesn't look cool. Can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. Please be gentle with my cuisine. That sounds awful. You don't, you just abuse this dog. I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. It's one of fun. Stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving a food in a bowl made a meal? I don't know, but I don't know, Brian, but. <laughs> Does not go gentle. For glamour. Don't discount simplicity. Next student. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. My God. That actually doesn't sound too bad. It's quite delightful. However, I ask you to please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food. You're a f idiot. You got toast in your ears? This is a cooking competition at the cooking school. Oh, didn't realize we were having an eating exam. Wow, mic drop, Ashley. It cannot be judged, you are disqualified. The last 
once you've heard of me either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. All right, there were the final cooks. Two chefs. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. In my 49 dog years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. Everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you get to pass. They all seem to transcend this reality into another. Do you, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. It's even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. You are an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is completely complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment. To get their groove on. Give me some funky beats. Give me some funky beats. Oh, I thought that was gonna, you can't just hold the beat. You have to drop the beat. Van and Ashley, wow, Van. Wow, Van. Okay, all right. Sure. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the... I was never actually a ghost. It was a trick to get you all to finally notice me. Ah. Uh, and now that everyone is together. It's a spork monster. Totally mellowed out. Everyone is pork monsters no more. From here on, I prefer everyone refer to me by my new name, the Party Monster. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's going to do great. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop. He's got a crown. Welcome back, Pop. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, okay. His dad's the dean. And we get a new wing on the school. Chancellor of such and such. Sparking in a... Oh, it's Clank. He's coming back. Now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Thanks. He's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I am not of this Earth. I am actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What the f***? Hmm. I actually feel like I knew it this whole time. Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Besides no, obviously. Okay, fine. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she's managed to surpass you in that regard. Well, all right. Bye, Clank. See you later. Oh, look at him. Howdy, classmates. Come prepared to feed the entire class. It's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. It's a full meal. Look at that. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? No, it's not the end. As everyone feasts in their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Look, gang, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me what all the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Just to name a few. It truly is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes! As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and spend it with you, Cluck Gang. Work together, Willa. 
I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. Uh-oh. But who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? What the f***? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with this other love, the life of an entrepreneur? Pastry school. Oh, my dear Clunk Gang. I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. That was it, guys. That was it. That was the end of the game. I, I mean, like, that's it. We're back at the menu. I, I mean, like, did, is there a way that we could have? Do we go back and do the spell? Is it the fight? Wait, hang on. Let's go. Let's low. I got a few minutes left. Yeah, we're gonna cast a spell. It's summoning spell that would conjure up a spork monster. Check your G diffuser system. Oh, I don't think it's gonna change anything, is it? Spork monster, for starters, never cast spells on yourself, cast them on your rivals. I'll take very- oh, wow. Oh, he turned Ashley into a chicken! <laughs> this could be dangerous. You're immediately racked with guilt over this act of blatant transmogrification. Do nothing. Ashley remains a chicken. Thanks. Okay. How could you? I've never been more disappointed. But also my heart. <laughs> he casts a counter spell from memory. His shirt flying open. There's such a thing as competing with honor, and this does not qualify. I no longer want anything to do with you. What happens if we if we cast it and then save her? Let's cast a spell. Turn her into a chicken. Uh, try to save her. You cast a reversal spell. Chicken Ashley immediately transforms back into herself. Hmm. It does the chicken seem remarkably fresh today? He's not impressed. Give up and drop out of culinary school. That's it. So I'm assuming there was a way that we could have gotten Colonel Sanders as a business partner, but I'm not really sure like which um Let's see. Let's find somebody we can raid. I got to go. I'll look it up and maybe we'll return to it someday, but probably not. Let's, uh, let's raid somebody in, um, Pearls of Cold Steel. Oops, that's not right. Do, do, do. Let's go to Trails of Cold Steel 4. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for some Shadowverse. We got some new card pack codes to give away. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hang out for code pack giveaway time. Let this person know that the voice of Kurt Vander sent you and I will see you tomorrow morning. And remember, I don't know, being finger licking, ugh.